Hey guys, so um, I am continuing this video from when I was cooking. So I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to put the cooking clips first or these clips first, but um, it's just like a two part kind of video, like just a little quick cooking with me and what I use on my hair. Um, so yeah, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video, then go ahead and hit the little bell button as well. And yeah, I'm going to start doing shout outs. So all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, comment, comment after you're done doing these steps. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media. And then comment done on whatever video that you want to. So I will be following you guys back and stuff like that just so we can get to know each other. I can get to see what kind of people actually watch um, so I know what kind of videos to film. And that way you guys get to know me a little bit more and you guys get a little bit more inside scoop into my life because I do post very frequently on Instagram and I am on Twitter all the time Facebook I only post so much um, like for my family but you're allowed to add me on there too and I will leave my email down below for any um, serious inquiries inquire you guys know what I mean okay so let's get right into the hair products so first off I'm gonna um, I guess we're not getting right into the hair products I'm just going to give a little inside scoop on my hair story. So my hair used to be super duper curly. You would have thought I was mixed with something. You like, you would have thought my curls were fake or something. Um, my hair was always super duper curly since I was a little baby. And then um, in junior high, I would dye my hair, but I would only dye it black. Just because I would get like split ends here and there and I didn't want to cut my hair because it was so long and curly and beautiful. So I just didn't want to cut it but I would get split ends here and there from straightening it sometimes. Um, in junior high, I didn't really have time or energy to straighten and do all that crazy stuff to my hair. So it would usually just be natural. I would just put like mousse in it. I'll try to find a picture of me in junior high. If I can't find one then I'll just... Um, find something similar and maybe insert it if not then oh well I hope you guys understand what I mean and um so yeah it was really really curly really really healthy besides split ends here and there and I never wanted to cut it it was about um all the way almost close to my hip and then I did cut some of it I did cut some of it but um then um it just got it started getting damaged because then like going into eighth grade that's when I started straightening it more I started dyeing it different colors other than black and um, so it just got damaged so then I like cut it but I didn't cut it too short it was like halfway half of my back maybe like to where it is um, a little bit shorter than where, what it is now so then that was that and then I got to high school and I started putting more heat into it and more dye into it so it started to get even more damaged and it was still curly but not as curly as it was like my entire life up until that point right and then um, let's see so yeah it would just frizz up and like the front of my hair would curl and the ends of my hair would curl it would not get all curly anymore and so then I cut it and it was about like up to here maybe a little longer and um, I just hated it completely and then it started growing again and it got like mid mid my back just a little bit shorter than this again because um, it wasn't super damaged but then once I got once I got to my sophomore year I started dyeing it like crazy colors it was like the scene days to have like red hair blonde hair pink in your hair blah 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 i didn't really do that many crazy colors besides like a bright red rihanna like my hair was super bright red if i find a picture i'll go ahead and insert it so 
basically, my hair was super, super thick. So my sister dyed it at home. I didn't go get it professionally dyed. Nobody had money like that. So my sister did it at home. And um, my hair was so dark that the bleach was not picking up. So she bleached my hair because it was super dark that the red wouldn't pick it up. So she bleached it to lighten it. And it was so thick that she had to use one bottle on half of my head and another bottle on the other half of my head. So it was just so much bleach that after that, my hair was just completely dead and burnt and the ends was just disgusting. The only time they looked okay was like right after the shower. It was just a hot mess. And then after that, I knew my hair was super damaged and I dyed it red again. Like it wasn't a bright red anymore. It was like more of a velvet red, but I still dyed it again. And then after that, once the roots started coming out from that, I dyed it like a golden blonde brownish bait, like just crazy blonde gold mm, brownish type color. And so it even damaged it even more. And then um, I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like my hair is growing, but the more it grows, it's like the more dead it looks because it's just a bunch of split ends at the end, bunch of dry, nasty, nappy hair. So then I cut it super duper short, like up to here. And then I started getting my curls back again, but I kept putting heat into it and it grew. Um, it didn't grow fast at all. Like this was all in high school. Keep in mind that I just turned 21 and it took me that long to get my hair like this. Like, I haven't cut my hair in so long, which is probably pretty bad. I should probably get a trim so that it can grow some more. Um, and, yeah, so that's my hair story. And after I did all of that nonsense to my hair, I continued to put heat in it. Every single day, I would straighten my hair or curl it, like, something. And even if my hair was straight the day before, I would go over it again with a straightener just so it could be super straight. It was just a bunch of heat and then prior to that it was just a bunch of hair dye because after the golden blonde whatever I was like I'm over these colors they're just damaging my hair I'm gonna do black again so I just dyed my hair black um my natural hair color and it was just a it was just a hot mess so my sister actually cut my hair she always cuts my hair um so it was super short like up to here and it took me that long to grow this like since since junior year I would say yeah like kind of junior year is when I cut it and now I'm 21 I've been out of school for a while 2015 so like three years three and a half years and it took me this long to grow it so I always kept messing around with products to see what was gonna work best for me um, and nothing would really work like it would make my hair a little bit soft for the day but then the next day it's like I had to wash my hair all over again because it was just, it just felt dry so I was washing my hair so constant just to get that soft feeling and um, it was just bad so I finally found some hair products that really really work for dry damaged hair and um, keep in mind I've tried so many things I've tried Pantene Tresemme, all these um, other products, and a lot of them had sulfates, and I didn't even know what that was until I met Paul. He kept telling me, like, oh, you shouldn't use that conditioner, you shouldn't use that shampoo brand. They have sulfates, that's so bad for your hair. Because he takes care of his hair really, really good, or really, really well. And um, so then we were looking through shampoos and conditioners one day in Target, and I was like, I want to try this one. And it is the Maui one. It's the one in like the fuchsia purple pinkish kind of bottle. So it's Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Shampoo for dry damaged hair. Soft and quench repair. So creamy shea butter, rich coconut oil, pure macadamia oil. Sulfate free. Surf I don't know how to say that word. But it just looks like this. This is the bottle. And it smells amazing. Mm, it smells so so good and it says no mineral oil no silicones no parabens I don't know if I said that right no gluten no SLS 
no sulfates, no synthetic dye, no alleys. Yes, vegan. Yes, eco-friendly. Yes, pure coconut water. Yes, pure um, aloe juice. Aloe, aloe. I don't know how to say that. But yeah, so this is what I use. This is the shampoo. And this is the conditioner. As you can see, I kind of use... A, I think everybody has this problem that you run out of conditioner before you run out of shampoo. But also, um, I guess one day when Paul was in the shower, he decided he wanted to give my conditioner a try. And so he did. And so, yeah, Paul used mine a few times until we finally got him his own of the same brand. It's ju it just does different things for your hair. So the conditioner is the same thing as the shampoo. It's just conditioner. It does the exact same things for dry damage hair, soft, quench repair, all that stuff. So I don't wash my hair every single day and I don't put conditioner in it every single day. Like if I washed my hair yesterday, then I'll wait a few days. And I always do between three to seven days. It just depends how fast my hair gets greasy. If I put heat in it that week, if I put products in it that week, like hairspray, stuff like that. It just depends, but it's usually between three to seven days that I don't wash my hair. I know it sounds disgusting, like, ew, bitch, you don't shower, but no, yes, I shower. I just don't wash my hair because it's really not good to wash your hair every single day. It's not good to put chemicals, whether it's really good chemicals like these. Um, chemicals are chemicals, and it's not good for your hair to put in every single day. And I really cut back on the heat. And I really want to find like some products that will get my curls back, but I haven't been able to get my curls back in so long. I've tried everything. Um, the one thing I haven't tried that somebody said I should try is to get a perm. And my hair might be curlier than what it was before. But then after the perm like is gone and is washed out, they somebody said um, like your curls, your old curls will stick again. So I don't know if I want to try that. I'm still debating. Um, whatever. I just want my hair to grow. I'm probably going to get it trimmed soon. I've been thinking about cutting it, but then I think about it. And it's like it took me so long to grow it out. So probably not going to cut it. So, yep. I use this when I wash my hair. And I barely use any shampoo. I try not to use so much because, again, shampoo is not good for you at all. And then after. And then after the shower, I comb it out. Let me get the comb that I used. So this is the comb that I used. It's just a plain big tooth comb. And then to brush my hair, I used this Con Air. You can't see the name of it. I've had the brush too long, but it's a paddle brush. I really want to find a good wet brush. That's the name of the brand, if you don't know. Um, just because sometimes my hair is too tangled after the shower, so the comb really hurts my head. I have a sensitive scalp. So, yep, this, because um, it's not really good to brush your hair out while it's wet. That can cause split ends as well, so it's better to use a comb than a brush. So, after the shower, I use this. It's the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco Weightless Healing Dry Oil. And I just spray this um, all through my hair and then I like rub it in the scalp, rub it all through the ends, all through the hair. And then I spray some in my hand and I'll do this half and I'll make sure to like get the ends really, really good. And then I'll do the same to the other half. So this is after I shower and I, um, dry my hair it's like not super dry but not super wet like damp towel dried hair and when I'm putting heat in my hair I go ahead and put this in I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen this maybe when you were smaller or you still might use it it's the smooth and shine polishing spray and it's just smooths and glosses and it prevents split ends so I use this it gives it a really nice shine a really healthy look and it prevents split ends which is really really good while putting heat in your hair and then I also 
put this on. And I put this on exactly the way that I put the, the Argan one on just after I heat it. After I use heat in it. So I use this before I straighten or curl and I use this after I straighten or curl. Or little after I straighten or curl. It is the Nourishing Coconut Oil Weightless Hydrogen Oil Mist. And it just um, gives it shine and it gives it hydration. So it's really good. And oh, and this one, it just, what does it say? Spray evenly onto damp hair then blow dry to infuse to infuse it into the hair shafts I don't blow dry it I just let it air dry so, ooh, 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 ooh. so yeah. these are the products that I use I really recommend all of them if you have like dry damaged hair and you're trying to repair it I would say cut it I know maybe if your hair is really long you don't want to cut it but if it's that damaged, just go ahead and do it. It's going to go back. Maybe it'll take long. Maybe it'll be fast. Just depends on your hair. But I really recommend cutting your hair, getting some type of shampoo and conditioner from this brand because it's really, really good. Just um, look at the bottle, see the different hair types. Um, I know sometimes they don't have certain ones, so you might want to look online, like uh, on Ulta or Target or something, and they might have other ones perfectly to um, match your hairstyle and then this one for after the shower really recommend getting it you can get this at Ulta Target or Walmart I'm not sure if like Walgreens and like other places like that have it but I know for sure Target and Walmart will and this one for putting heat and this one as well so before heat after heat and after shower so really recommend these and I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if I feel like this video is too long, I'm not going to put the cooking clips into this one. I'll probably put it into like one of the vlogs that I filmed. Um, just because I don't want the video to be excessively long. Do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear JC on banging on the door like he ain't got no goddamn sense? No, I'm playing. He just probably wants to lay down. He's in the living room playing, but mama's got to film. Um, we'll probably take a nap in a little bit if he wants to. And yeah, i um, really sorry for not uploading as much as I used to. And before I forget, I said I was going to give um, a loofah bar update on my previous video. And if you haven't watched that, then I'll leave it linked down below. Honestly, it has been working wonders. Like my face was really, really bad. It's still a little bit bad here. And just like these two, I don't know, they're like scarred. They really haven't gone away. And just like a little bit on my forehead, but my forehead and my chin were super bad. Like they weren't pimples, but they were like little granitos. I don't know exactly what it was. Um, but the loofah bar really, really has helped. I'll try to find a link to that. I haven't, it's so hard to find them on the Target website, but they do have them at Target and like the skincare um, aisles. So, yep, yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget about the cooking clips. I might not put them in because I feel like this video may be a little bit too long. Um, sorry if I've been rambling too much. But, yeah. And, um, I'm gonna try to do a giveaway soon. I just don't know on what. But be on the lookout for that. I'm not gonna put it in the title because I don't want people to be like, oh, I'm gonna go subscribe so I can go get a giveaway. Like, nope. Not here, honeys. Not here, honey. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, yep. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below when you're done doing all that. If you want a shout out, and um, don't forget to follow me on, on all my social medias so we can be friends. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks, guys. Bye.